pencil out. Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I am back doing weekly vlogs and last week was the first one so I explained where I've been, what I'm doing with these vlogs and all of that in that video. Today I'm going to go through a whole bunch of collage um, that I have brought and how I'm going to organise it because there's a lot of magazines here and to be perfectly honest with you before we get into it I need to explain why I've got these because it's a byproduct of something that I explained in last week's video that I um, have been struggling with depression and a class that is actually coming out is starting today so if you want to join it it is a pay what you choose class starting at free called dig that I created to share a bunch of journaling techniques that I used to help me during that period so it's a seven day journal journey and every day I will share more um, a technique um, kind of more creative journaling than art journaling or written journaling it's kind of a merge of everything and every day aside from that I also share a video on other aspects of life that was that are also incredibly important when you're dealing with what I call a low emotional state and sharing my story of depression and how these things helped me I will give you details of that at the end the only reason why I am talking about the class now is that one of the diggers in that I have which is part of the class that I share um, to evolve your awareness of the habits that dig you into a low emotional state or dig you out of a low emotional state it's really important to be aware about all of the the habits that you have for your mental and emotional well-being one of my biggest diggers in to depression or what you could maybe call a symptom of it was that I became extreme with online shopping when I was dealing with depression I couldn't focus on the things that I would focus on normally in life I couldn't bring a sense of priority or you know just feeling overwhelmed by life overwhelmed by things that were easy to do before suddenly everyday easy things I'm talking about suddenly become a effing mountain tough to climb so I believe this was a vehicle for my brain to be able to focus on something that in, in essence wasn't important but it was a way for me to really delve into something to get the dopamine release the reward chemical that you get when you online shop but also whenever you cr complete a task you know your brain drips dopamine so I was getting this false fix in essence um, by doing this rather destructive habit so I'm going to allow what's been and just appreciate now what I've got out of it and actually use this stuff that's going to provide me many many years of collage material so I also have um, things to organize this stuff including these that are mesh drawers I actually bought for something else and they didn't work so I'm repurposing them for this these things they are just little plastic boxes that I've got for half size pages or larger images for me to cut up things that I haven't yet and then I have another one that is going to hold the ones that I have cut up whether I do it because I'm just bored or I want to do something creative but I'm not in the mood for creating some art I can sit and cut up some collage or when for instance this girl here actually both of these are from journal pages that I did that I was cutting out images for and the images didn't work so I used other images but of course I want to keep these safe because you can so easily if you don't keep your collage safe once you cut it up easily rip off their arms or you know the more delicate parts of the collage then I've got just a big box that holds full size sheets 
So say that you go through a collage and you rip pages out, but then you don't use that page, those are gonna go in here. Or if I just see an image that's just absolutely stunning, and I want to be able to know where I've put it, not have to go through all these magazines to try and find it again. I'm just going to stick it in this big one. Then I have this second big box full of smaller boxes for little pieces of collage or stamping that I do to go in. So that is how I'm going to organize my collage. First though, I need to unveil my haul. <laughs> Okay, the first one is Art Quarterly. I almost exclusively brought these magazines from eBay with some amazing images in for me to use. Okay. So I've got Scientific American, Family Tree, and Printmaking Today. <laughs> and I'm not recommending any of these magazines to you per se. These are just interesting magazines that I researched or looked for or just found um, while I was looking for other magazines. I just wanted a very varied collection. So it's not like, um, there's any strategy above that and I don't say to you oh buy Art Quarterly because they're amazing I, I honestly don't know these are all magazines I've never brought before The Simple Things issue called Create which looks like kind of a homey lifestyle type magazine The Stylist think this oh yeah I know why I got this it's got a Bronte sisters thing in the front it's got a lot of lovely illustration in it though but this one is clearly one that came with a newspaper like a Sunday newspaper or something because the paper's quite not as good but I wanted the images in it so homes and antiques Ooh. Given the subject matter, there is actually quite a lot of stuff, good stuff in this to use. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, the big box. No idea what's in here. Oh. I think these are Italian photograph magazines. 1967 1962 60 years jeez this one I think is a program of a gallery's collection and I just got swept up by the beautiful I mean a lot of it's religious art but you know just the sheer gorgeousness of the actual paintings I got caught up and um, oh Venus that used to be as a teenager my favorite painting a crystal magazine an archaeology magazine that is French <laughs> okay more of the simple things magazines oh a National Geographic I have to be very careful with anything that might have animals in it though I purposefully went for ones that oh buffaloes I'm, I'm okay with buffaloes I've just got to be careful with magazines like this because I have a phobia of sharks and if I see them it's uh, not good news for anyone around me that I might not good news for anyone around me that I might.
do that too. <laughs> there was a whole load of sharks in an image in that and I, I knew it was a danger doing National Geographic, I knew it. Only those of you that have a phobia of something like that will understand because everybody else will just think I'm being a wuss. Well, my first kind of traditional, I guess, fashion magazine in the bunch. And other simple things, mind, body and spirit. Ooh. See, now it's got me on edge. I see a fecking balloon because it's blue. It looks like it's in water and it's... Oh, magazine. Mindful being, mindful doing. Beautiful. This is basically just pure images. Oh my God, they're beautiful. <gasps> Last one. River J, the River Journal. It's like a very artsy architectural magazine. Creative review, summer school issue. Yeah, see, I'm really on edge <laughs> with anything blue. My eyes take a minute to freak out. <gasps> Marmite. <laughs> okay well I'm really happy with this haul aside from the National Geographic <laughs> which I bought purposely one with a Picasso on the front so I was gonna get a more cultural one rather than a bloody wildlife one and what do I get <sighs> anyway I'm fill up these with some goodies ready to rock and roll. As you can see, they've taken all of the magazines quite nicely. I've put these ones on the top, although there is room for them in the drawers, just because they're slightly bigger than our standard size over here, A4, which is what these drawers are. So rather than curling them, I've just put those magazines that's a little bit bigger widthwise on top but yeah loads of room i know it's weird but i really like this one advert <laughs> so i'm going to put the other part of the page into this one that is things to be cut up, to be used. And I'm going to stick this one into the one that's ready. I don't know, there's just something about that advert, I really like it. This one goes into the ones that are kind of ready. So other things I did this week, I got a new sofa, <laughs> I love it. I had so much resistance to getting rid of my old sofa because I liked it, but it was just so big, it took up a lot of room. But the new sofa is just so beautiful and fits in with the style of the room, which I'm gonna be sharing next week. My, hmm. See, this image is just so striking. Do I bite the bullet? I 
and potentially kill off these two which I yeah I don't think I'm going to use those that one is just really striking so yeah I'm going to bite the bullet so yeah I'm creating the curio cabinet wall so I've been organizing some gemstone jars which are going to go on it I've also been recycling a whole bunch, <laughs> a whole bunch of um, jars, such as these, you know, these are coffee jars, <laughs> which I stuck some labels on to keep some of my jemmies in, some gemstones. So I've just been recycling a whole bunch of jars. So I can't in all consciousness throw these honestly perfect apothecary jars away they're even you know dark glass which is what you want for the apothecary jars um i can't throw them away and go out and buy a bunch of you know fancier looking ones so i'm going to do over these jars using things that will make them look more like they came out of an old apothecary such as labels and I've got some twine and some jemmies, some more like charmy things that can hang off the twine. Not on all of them, but you know, on a few things. These are just old jewelry pieces that I've been gathering. Oh, a little portion of my massive collection. And uh, yeah, just decorating the lids so that I don't have <laughs> a brand name on the lids. But yeah, they are going to work fine for more of the herbs and things that I'll be putting in. Some pine out of the garden and then some things that aren't out of the garden, but a lot of them are. Some thyme, some rosemary, some lavender, some motherwort, lemon balm. Nom, nom, nom. See, this is the thing about going through magazines. <laughs> Don't think you'll fit in there, so in there you go. Yeah, I've also been um, journaling in the sun while it was out. <laughs> you know, just trying to capture the last few remains of the sunlight. For my least favourite season hits, I'm just trying to soak up as much time as I can outside. And then the rest of the time really I've just been um, filming Dig, which is my new class, which come, well starts today. You're more than welcome to come join us. It's a pay what you choose class starting at free, a seven day journal journey, which is loads of tips and tools and techniques that I use to help me during my lowest emotional time and also while dig is running there is a huge sale on all classes on journal workshops 
so whether you want the remedies junk journal class or creative resistance remedy or creative gold journaling any of the classes on journal workshops they're up to 80% off but just while dig is underway and I think that's it for this week so I'm gonna get actually cracking on dig I've got lots to do <laughs> And I also really want to get this room up and running how I want it. So I will see you guys next week. Take care. Mwah.